Hello, it's Callie's in the kitchen. Today I am going to attempt again the metallic dot technique by Lillian. However, I'm going to use some of the techniques that I saw in Julie Cutts's Pouring Your Heart Out for a similar pattern, which is kind of a cross between a fairy flower and a fantasy flower. So in this step, I am going to actually pour my, my metallic and actually I'm using something called magic blue. It's a mica powder and I know you're supposed to use a metallic, which I assume is like gold, bronze, silver. But I've done a few of those, and so I just wanted to do something similar. So it's probably, can't be called the metallic dots, because I'm not using metallic color. But I just wanted to do something different, because I've done a few of these with the gold and the bronze um, for the me metallic color. Okay, so I'm using all of that. Then for my main color, I'm using Octopus Ink Resin Ink Papaya. I've mixed it really well, mixing it some more. I'm gonna pour it into the center Going to do a little torch. Then I am going to do my first round of dots. I'm going to make a small hole. Make sure that it's coming out okay. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to do it first on the inside of this magic blue mica powder. This magic blue mica powder came in a pack with some other mica powders when I ordered some craft resin resin. My white is resin mixed with the bloom pigment paste that you get from pouring your heart out, eBay store or Amazon. The resin that I'm using is Art Pro, three to two ratio from Resin Pro. I think they're getting a lot of orders because I know some folks have ordered it and it's been taking a while to get to them because everyone is using it because of these flower techniques that we're, we've learned. I was introduced to it from Pouring Your Heart Out. Julie, who I believe saw it and learned it from resincourses.com.
Okay. So I'm just going to do a little bit, just that much more. Okay. Then the next step that you are to do, let me place my piping bag in an upright position, is take your second color and what I did that is mixed with, I mixed olive oil from Octopus Resin Ink with some Inoki. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to spir spiral it over the Magic Blue Mica Powder. And there's sort of no, according to Lillian, there's no sort of rule as to how you do this, whether it's a spiral or squiggly. I'm just going around and around till I use all of it. Okay. Then I've got to look up my notes because there are so many different steps and okay then you take your push which is clear and I actually put in butterscotch because I was actually going to do this green color in um, in the butterscotch but I changed my mind when I saw it so I've got a push which is resin in this so find my center and drop it I'm gonna go back to my piping bag and do more dotting again. However, I'm going to do a little torch. I'm going to start somewhere here where that magic blue has come in. I don't think I poked a good hole. So let me might have to adjust my bag to give me a little bit more ability to there we go. And on this one I'm actually using my thumb and index finger to draw the dots. Oops. Now the one I did before using the total Lillian's course, I used just right, no, just resin titanium white. And I don't think I had the right amount. And so it didn't quite turn out. So today I'm trying Bloom which I know is magic. Then I'm gonna go, go back out. Don't know if it'll show past this green, but, and I hope I'm not wasting my dots, but I'm going to continue doing that. Now the other thing I did is that when you do Lillian's technique, there is a troubleshooting page and Genevieve from Quebec pointed it out to me because my petals weren't coming out the way I wanted to in the beginning. Well, not beginning, but when I first did it. 
So the suggestion is to, you know, mix all your resin except for your final push because you're going to need clear resin in your final push. And so what I've done is I've mixed up, I'm going to be mixing up a fresh batch of clear resin for my final push. Looks a little lopsided, but... Now I've got to find out, oh yeah, I'm supposed to put some more in. So what I'm going to do at this juncture, so Genevieve, I'm taking your advice and I'm pouring, I'm gonna be mixing fresh resin momentarily for a final push. So I'm going to leave that and pause the tape for a moment, go mix my resin and be right back. Okay, so I mixed up my last push as a fresh batch. I'm pouring it in the center like you're supposed to. Then I'm going to torch. That batch was really bubbly because it was so little. And I'm getting my piping bag. going to dot again and then I'm going to go out Oops. Ah, uh, I think I'm going to do one more. Now, I know that I didn't um, uh, put a lot out here, so I am, this wasn't in the course, but I'm going to do that because I don't think I put enough when I first did it. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's see, shall I do a little bit more? I'm just gonna, <sighs> okay, I'm not, I'm just gonna leave it because usually the fairy flower you do a whole lot more. 
So in the meantime, what I'm going to do, I did mix a little bit of glitter with my resin earlier on, and now I'm going to drop it in in the center. Oops, I'm going to leave that there, and then I'm going to poke it in. If I can gently lift it on the edge there. Hopefully I put enough. I don't, I don't think so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to still scoop up what I have. Just for fun of it, just do a swirl. Okay. I hope, I hope, I hope. Hope I haven't put too many drops, not enough drops, etc. Just gonna poke it down just a little bit one more time. down. It should stay down now. Alrighty, I will see you for the demolding and wish me luck. Alrighty, it is unmolding, demolding time. Let us look. Really, really nervous. Oh, it turned out pretty nice. So what's interesting is I got this little faint um, magic blue so I can do it without the syringe if I chose to. So let me show you again, close up. What do you think? Not too bad. I got the petals. I got some, this is with the rock edge, remember too. So it'll be interesting to try this on my cascade mold. So there you go. Thank you, Genevieve, for the suggestion of a fresh new batch for the clear push. Maybe that was the trick. Thank you so much for watching.